Welcome to Myositis 101 video series on myositis patient education. It is very important for myositis patient to do self-evaluation of their own muscle strength and function at home on regular basis. This is because when patients are self-evaluating their own muscle strength and function at home on regular basis, they can actually assist their doctor in the treatment. Patients' own self-evaluation of muscle function can be used to evaluate whether they are improving on the treatment or to see if they are maintaining their muscle strength and function if they are already better. <clears throat> this has become rather important during COVID-19 pandemic when the access to your doctor and blood test is rather limited. So today, I will teach how patients can do few simple tests to evaluate their own muscle strength and function at home. There are two such simple tests. One is called sit to stand and the other one is called timed up and go. In this video, I will teach how to perform sit to stand at home. In the next video, we will talk about timed up and go. So what is sit to stand test? Well, sit to stand test simply measures the number of time or number of repetition a patient can stand up from a seated position and then can sit back down in a chair in 30 seconds. You can take help of a family member or a friend to perform this test. I have with me Nicole who is a model patient. You will need a chair without armrest and without wheels for this test. Also, you will need a timer for the test or you can use the timer on your smartphone. First, place a chair against the wall. Then, sit in the middle of the chair comfortably. Also, your feet should be flat on the floor and back straight. If you can stand up from chair without using arm rest, then fold the arm across the chest before starting the test. However, if you need to use arm rest or other device like walker to stand up, then you are allowed to do so. Next, set the timer at 30 seconds. Then start the timer and begin the test. Now we will demonstrate a full sit to stand test on Nicole. Nicole, I will start the timer and say go. Go. During the test, a patient or a family member should count the number of full repetition. Note that one full repetition is full standing from a sitting position and then sitting back down on the chair. Stop. After completing the test, record the number of full repetition that you have performed in a diary. Also record if you had to use armrest or any device like walker to stand up or to perform this test. You should first do a practice run before actually performing the test. Ideally, you should perform this test two times with two minutes of rest in between to make sure that you got the test right. I sincerely hope that with the help of this video, you will perform sit to stand test at home to evaluate your own muscle strength and function and monitor the progress of your disease. In a patient who is weak and is under treatment, this test should be performed once a week. However, if the patient is already doing well, then this test perhaps should be performed once a month to make sure they are able to maintain their strength. Also, it is important to share this information about your test results with your doctor when you visit them, so that they can also see the progress that you are making with your muscle strength and function. With this, I want to thank you for listening and I hope that you and your family members are doing well during this COVID-19 period.